Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Keek Ray's Customs, the video series where I show off some of my custom Thomas Wooden Railway models that have been made by other Thomas Wooden Railway users in the YouTube community. And this next series of videos is going to be dedicated to the engines from the movie Journey Beyond Sodor. And so the first engine I'm going to start off here in sort of this next like series of this series, so to speak, is Lexi the Experimental Engine, which is the engine you see in front of you here. This engine was custom made completely by Wong Village. And I've put a link to uh, his channel in the description and in the comments below and I would really appreciate it if you would check out his channel and just thank him for doing such a wonderful job on Lexi here. So um, I could bore you with like the intricate details and all that fancy stuff about Lexi's basis and her history um, but I won't do that here because you know you can look up that information on the internet yourself if you're really interested in finding out what Lexi is based on but what makes Lexi really unique or you know what makes her an experimental engine so to speak is that she's a cab forward engine normally the face of an engine would be over here and her crew would be facing this way well Lexi is basically been made backwards and she actually travels down the rails this way and so it basically looks like you know she's going in reverse when she's actually going forward. So that's just what really makes her unique. It looks like she's going backwards, but she's actually going forwards. And, you know, there's all these other, you know, intricate details and everything that I could bore you with. But um, I want to, since this is a video about this custom Thomas Wynn Railway model that Wong Village has made for me, I want to tell you guys about, you know, what Wong exact, exactly had to go through to make this item. And he sent me a list of notes basically about, you know, what he had to do to make this completely custom Thomas Wooden Railway version of Lexi. So Lexi's main body up here was made from a knockoff Edward, according to his notes. And the reason I'm guessing he used a knockoff is because he didn't want to ruin a the very beautiful licensed version of Edward. So if I put Lexi like this, and you imagine Edward's face down here, and you imagine this is his funnel, and that is his dome, and then somewhere back here is his cab, hopefully you can start to see that, you know what, oh, this does actually look like Edward. And if you can't really get that picture into your mind, let me bring in a real Edward. And then let me replace it with this. Hopefully you guys can see, you know, there are some definite similarities there. So there was a fair amount of custom work that went into this model, specifically around the cab area. I believe in Wong's notes, he puts that the the front is just Edward with added details and a modified cab and a cow catcher, yeah. So this part of Edward is relatively the same, but then back here um, there was a lot of custom work that went on with, you know, making this cab a little bit bigger and then adding in these other details. So I want to take a moment to just show you guys the beauty of this cow catcher up front here. Um, I think these are just, you know, wooden sticks that he glued to like the front buffer beam on Lexi there. But what's really cool is on the back side, there's actually this whole support system where, you know, it's actually like a functional cow catcher. He didn't just attach these wooden sticks to this buffer beam here. Um, he actually, you know, made this support system so that, you know, if I put my, you know, finger up here, sorry, it blurred out for a second. If I put my finger here and press on it, obviously, you know, there's a little bit of give, but it's not gonna, just going to completely snap and fall apart. So it's actually a very functional cow catcher, which is extremely impressive because I would never be able to do something like that if, even if I tried. So um, I am just completely amazed by the intricate details on this model. There is just a lot of handy craftsmanship and a lot of time and effort was put into this model to say the least. So this up here looks like a dome but actually it's supposed to represent Lexi's bell I think. It's in a little bit of a weird spot. I think the bell is supposed to be down here a bit but since this was made from an Edward model that's why it's back here. You can't really move the dome down. So you know there's if I turn it this way here is you know what's supposed to be the front of Edward. Um, you know, there's this little bit of arch detail back here that was ed uh, added. Um, you know, she, Lexi has a nameplate there. Just really, really impressive detailing. I'll talk about the face in just a little bit. 
But when I, um, Wong Village sent me a whole package of Journey Beyond Soda engines that he made for me. And they were all, I mean, extremely impressive. I can't wait to show them off. But Lexi really got my attention because I was looking at this cow catcher and I'm thinking, wow, that is, like, that's actually a real working cow catcher. <laughs> it was really impressive. So overall, an extremely, extremely nice version of Lexi here. One thing Wong Village had to do and he sent this to me in his notes, is that he had to reverse the magnet since Lexi is backwards. So he had to take the magnet off down here where the cow catcher is and he had to put it back here so that when Lexi traveled down the rails or when she was pulling rolling stock, um, she was still, you know, everything was still going in the right direction. So um, a little bit of trivia for you there as well. So that's the front part of Lexi, which is just extremely nice. And you can kind of see it has this dirty appearance all around, and that's actually intentional. That's not like leftover glue or anything. If you were to look at an actual picture of Lexi, um, since she's an experimental, she's an experimental engine in like a leftover scrapyard. She hasn't been, you know, that well maintained or anything like that. And so that was actually all done intentionally. So let's take a look at this tender, which I believe is actually Lexi's oil tanker. The tender here is very impressive as well because according to the notes Wong Village sent me, um, the tender is scratch built. The top of the tanks are clay, which is makes sense because just compared weight wise, sorry for the blur there, uh, the camera's really zoomed in. Uh, and it's kind of going all over the place. Weight-wise, this is extremely, extremely light. You know, this Lexi back there uh, carries some decent weight, but this one is extremely light. Um, and yeah, like I said, I believe these are her oil tankers. I apologize if um, if that's wrong. Um, very nice as well. You can see um, he said they were made out of clay, and it's not soft clay. It's been like hardened, so I can't like mold it or anything. But what makes it really cool is that since it's made out of clay, this is just super light and it just tags along with Lexi wherever she goes. So um, on the bottom here, I showed this off earlier, it says Lexi's tender and then let me bring back Lexi. Lexi says, shockingly, Lexi by Wong Village. So um, let me just kind of go along um, or let me just show off the other notes that Wong Village sent me. Um, let's see here. The face was casted and modified from a wooden millie. Okay, so what he means by that is when Wong Village originally sent this to me, he sent me a, a clay version or a clay face of Lexi, and he did a fantastic job on this face. I mean, you can even see like the eyeliner in there as well. Um, and if you were to watch like my collection video that was uploaded in November, you'll recognize this face as well. And the reason he sent me the face is because at the time, we were waiting on a wooden railway version of Lexi or, you know, obviously like the Adventures version of Lexi and that hadn't been released yet. So this face um, he sent me was just uh, meant as like a placeholder until a real face came along. Really, really well done though. I mean, the face is really, really nice. He captured her emotions and her expressions, I think, very, very well. So thanks to Juan Village for including that in the, you know, original model that he sent me over. But then when Adventures Lexi finally came out, I decided, you know, as with my other customs, you know, the face is the most important part and it really sets the tone for the character and everything. So I went out and bought an Adventures Lexi. This is the front part here. I went out and bought an Adventures Lexi, and what's really cool is on on just specific Adventures models for some reason, some of them have these very re weird uh, triangular screws, and what you can do is you can go online and you can buy like a specific screwdriver to undo those, and then that completely, you know, you unscrew everything and basically this, you know, model falls apart. You can kind of see I didn't do a very good job putting it back together, but then when it falls apart, uh, Lexi's face just popped off right there, and the only thing I had to do was um, file down the, the back area behind it because it was sort of like a clip-in feature. So I just filed down the back there and put like some glue or tape or like some putty stuff on the back of it. Nothing permanent in case I wanted to change it. And um, Wong Village, he noted that the, the original face was casted from a wooden railway Millie. So let me bring in a wooden Millie or I should bring in the old face. I guess that's what we want to look at. Sorry, my big fat fingers are in the way. 
So I can definitely see the inspiration there. I don't know if you can, but that's a very good face to base it off of because even though the, the, um, the faces are different shapes, whereas Millie's face is more rounded and Lexi's is more oop, rectangular, um, I can definitely see the inspiration there. So was, that was very smart of Wong Village to do that. And then I briefly toyed with the idea of buying a wooden railway Isabella and using that face on this um, item because as you can see you know both are um, both characters are female and Lexi's face is rectangular and so is Isabella's and so I was thinking you know what I'll buy an extra one I'll chop it off and I'll put it on um, Lexi's model here but then when Adventures Lexi was released I was like oh well that pretty much takes care of it and plus you know even though Isabella's face I think would have been a good uh, you know another good placeholder um, you can't go wrong I mean nothing beats like the official licensed face from an actual toy so that's why I decided to um, just go with the license Adventures face and considering you know the Adventures model here is much smaller than the wooden railway face, I actually feel like the, or excuse me, than the wooden railway model, I feel like the face is like a perfect fit. So let's see, anything else from Wong Village here? He says, oh yeah, he inverts the magnet to make it work. And then this is just in general for all of Wong Village's customs that I'm gonna show off here in the next couple of videos. He says that all of the customs um, were painted using modeling paint or spray paint and then he primed them before painting. So that's pretty much it for Lexi here. Let me just show this off one more time. Incredibly impressive. Um, I'm a big fan of this um, custom here and a lot of people I'm sure are gonna ask me what I intend on doing with Lexi when it comes to my series. And I really don't know at this point. I'd love to you know, include and introduce as many characters as I can, but I wanna do it at the right time. I just don't wanna include a character just for the sake of including it. So, who knows? I'm guessing Lexi will appear one day. However, I want her introduction to be, you know, worthwhile and make sense and all that. I just don't want to introduce her just for the sake of introducing her. So that's pretty much the custom made Lexi the Experimental Engine by Wong Village. I want to give a huge shout out to Wong um, for making, you know, this custom for me and then the other customs you're going to see here in the next couple of videos. Again, I put a link to his channel in the description and in the comments below. He does a lot of excellent custom work. He's done customs for Enterprising Engine 93 and he does some great work for the uh, Thomas Creator Collective as well, so be sure to check out his channel. Um, I can't even begin to fathom the amount of man hours that went into creating this custom. I mean, he did a really fantastic job, and I'm just extremely impressed with the, the weathering on the engine as well. Um, very excellently done. So I want to thank Wong Village for his hard work on Lexi, the experimental engine here. I don't really think I have anything else to say other than um, thanks for watching everybody. Like I said, this next little video series or this, you know, next couple videos in this series called Key Grace Customs are going to be all about the Journey Beyond Soda Engines and I know a lot of people have been asking about them. So just hang on a little bit. I'll be showing off all of the other characters that uh, Wong Village made for me here in just a bit. So thanks everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video.